I'm here now to talk about the children. The children are the only hope that this world has uh, left for it. The old people have been completely taken over by the, the mainstream news, by the medical tyranny, injected with everything, given every drug, given every piece of news, and they aren't willing to look outside the box to see the truth for what it is. See, everything that is given as truth in the mainstream is a lie. Everything that is given as a lie in the mainstream is the truth. We're in a totally backwards world where finding your own footing is getting to a point where it's almost impossible. You see, it's, it used to be that you could really find the pieces of information that you wanted to in a somewhat reasonable manner. But no, it's gotten to the point where even the stuff that I talk about, you really can't find it anymore. You know, it, it's censored on every major news site. It's censored on every major search engine. And so to really fight for the truth of what's going on in the world is is almost an impossible task in a lot of ways. And uh, well, first, it, it's about getting spiritually healthy. I mean, you need that connection and to release your uh, resistances towards alternative points of view. But back to the children. I mean, I... I I got into an argument uh, at the gym the other day with a couple old people and I, I really realized it's not even worth fighting because when you when you try to talk about things with people who uh, have been trained their entire life to follow things a certain way, um, the only thing you're going to get back is negative energy and, and you can't really deal with that. And uh, this is not my opinion, this is what is going to happen the universe has dictated it, Mother Earth has dictated it, you know, there will be a massive reduction in the population. And it's part of a necessary process because it's almost another Noah's Ark scenario where people are so dumbed down and so non-responsive to any sort of information that would break their worldview. But that's why the children are what really matters here. They are the only ones that can still have a choice. They're the only ones that can look at things from a new perspective and to, and to bring in a new world uh, into what is fastly evolving, quickly evolving to be uh, a totally different technological, political, social, economical world than we've ever seen before in every way, shape and form. So this is really a message to anybody, you know, you know, anybody that will listen, but to spread the word and to and to focus your energy where it's going to be best served because if you're focusing your energy and and every single time you focus it there you just get back negativity and and anger and all these other emotions you're going to get drawn up into those emotions yourself and you're not going to be able to move past them so my decision here is to is to allow you know these closed-minded people to uh to live their life and they will be whatever whatever happens to them happens to them you know it's not really my concern at this point my concern is to reach those that still have a rebellion in them a a desire to be their own person a desire to create their own world for themselves and to not follow the the mainstream and, and all the lies that are present there and it's not even really for me to explain right now where these lies are everywhere I mean you can look at all my work I've been doing uh, for a very short period of time now but I've I've documented it all from the financial system you know I haven't dealt as much in the spiritual stuff as I would like to but the financial system alone should be enough to wake people up and to see what is going on in this world to see how everything you do from the time you are born to the time you die is a calculated process to draw from you and to put you into slavery in mind, body, and spirit. So uh, for those people that are fighting back, you know, you're going to be rewarded in in the, the highest way possible. It doesn't, it doesn't just mean money, you know, but um, again... You know, the people that are going to be receptive are those young people. The holders of the key to everything are the young people. So 
spread love and spread it's almost like I don't even know what to say at this point because I've said everything and 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 the people I follow have said everything and it's just fallen on deaf ears time and time again and um I know, you know, again, it's, I'm, I'm optimistic. I love the world we're moving into because I know it's the evolution, but I know it's going to come with so much pain. And, and it's a war, but it's a war of light. This is, a, you know, what a lot of people have been talking about. So, um, if there's anything else, uh, you know, I, I can add here, I mean, no, I, I don't really know what, what else to put here, but, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think young people want to um, want to rebel. I think I think there's a natural impulsion for them. I, I think especially those that have just gone into this COVID crisis and and everything as young people and, and really starting to question things in a certain way. I think I think they're seeing what's going on, but they're controlled. See, their parents are controlled by the system. And so for them to speak out, it's not possible because their parents suppress them at every single turn. Every time they try to ask a question, their parents will attack them and not let them be who they are trying to become. So that is why it's our duty to assist them in that, to communicate with them and to share with them. And if the parents hate, if anybody else hates, you do not worry about it, okay? You are protected. You are the messenger of light, and that's that, you know, uh, don't hold back anymore, this is time, and, and God's will be done, I'm not a Christian, but God's will be done, amen.